they were entering into the main players. I know. So, first of all, um, a sense of purpose. We, we, we you happy with how the album turned out? And what's it been like to play the songs on the road now that you've been like, touring the album for over a year? Uh, we were obviously happy, otherwise we wouldn't release it. Yeah, yeah so very much so. Um, and uh, it's great, you know, it's always great to play new songs when you made a new record, you go out and you play them and you decide which ones feel better to play live, you know, and uh, after a while you might rotate some, like today we're playing a new song that we haven't played that much before, so it's always good. And, and how do you find the fans of Red for the new songs? Because usually like a band brings out new songs into the set and they want to hear the old ones. And... Yeah, a little bit of both. I mean, there's, there's always going to be the people who want to hear only the old ones. Uh, but I mean, we want to keep it interesting for us as well. So you know, we actually feel that we've gained more fans with the last couple of records than what we had before. So the majority of the crowd usually wants to hear the newer stuff. You can really tell when you play an old song and you see like, you know, five kids over here getting it on and the rest of them kind of wondering which song this is, you know. But it's always good. We always try to mix it up anyways. So. I mean, you guys have got such a huge back catalog. How do you go about picking the set list? Does it change every night? No, not every night. We uh, Sometimes we try to rotate. Sometimes we just stick to one that we all agree on. Uh, now in UK, we're uh, we're not headliners. We just do 45 minutes. So we cut away some of the songs. It's just, it's really hard. I don't really know how we do it. We... we Everybody can't do pleased all the time, you know. We have, we have to do the best of it, you know, and try to think of uh, what people might want to hear. Um, and on a side note to Essential Purpose, um, I noticed that if you get the album in Japan, you get uh, three extra tracks on it. Um, I think what are they? Uh, a razor tilt and ab abnegation. Um, I'm just curious to why you decided to do this. Now we recorded 16 songs and 12 of them we wanted to put on the record. The rest was supposed to be like extras. In Japan they always put the extras on the, on the CD though. So I think we did um, a couple of them on the uh, on the most true single that was on the songs. Uh, maybe all of them, yeah. Maybe all of them. And it's just, you know, it's record company politics basically. We, we made a lot of songs we liked and we um, voted on the 12 to get on the record, but the, the other ones were equally good, so I'm just glad they're out there. Yeah. Where did the, um, I got a bit of it on the internet, but what, what's the exact story behind where the Inflame was just in the logo? Inflame? The Jester logo? Oh, it was uh, a guy, Andreas Marshall, who drew uh, the cover to, uh, to the Jester race. He came up with it, basically, uh, as far as I know, uh, after reading like the lyrics and everything around okay. it. And uh, we just, it just went as we just started using it for a symbol, and now it kind of has to be that, so it became our symbol. It wasn't something that we sat down on, what can we do, you know, to have our symbol. It just came about like that. Okay. And um, I noticed on the... Uh, kind of clarity album. It's, it doesn't, it's not actually on the cover, is that? It's, it's inside. Is it on the back or something? Yeah, it's, I think it's on the back. I don't really remember right now. Okay. It's always there somehow. Just kind of just trying to sneak it in. Yeah. Um, uh, um, now you guys have been credited with popularizing, if not kind of creating melodic death metal. I mean, do you agree with this tag? Do you think that you brought it about? I'm not sure. I mean, um, we were once um, described as a death metal or melodic death metal. And I think that now we are so much more as well, you know. Um, we always try to evolve and try to you know, create more music than what we've done before. Put more ingredients in the pot, if you will. And um, I don't know how to describe our music. You know, it's basically up to the listeners to describe it. But it can be good and it can be bad, you know, because for a lot of people that don't listen to death metal, if they haven't heard the band and it's considered to be death metal, and they, you know, might not give it an interest, but if they listen to the music instead of labeling it, you know, which is why I really don't like labels at all. So, it's music, it's metal, and, you know, whatever kind of metal, it's basically up to you to decide. And in relation to that, um, when, you, when you go about writing your songs, do you have the fans in mind, or it's more, is it more kind of 
we'll arrive what feels right to us and then just hope that the fans like it. Yeah, that's how it is. We can't listen to any, what anybody else thinks, you know. We, we're five members of the band and we decide, you know, how it's going to sound. And uh, when we are happy, we hope the people will be, but if not, at least we did what felt right. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. There are five members of the band. What, what, do you find that uh, everyone's external influences kind of bring the song together in some way? Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, uh, the guitar is written by the guitar players, but everybody helps arrange it, and of course, you put your personal touch into it, yeah. which you know, uh, us five combined is the sound of the players. Uh, well, what's um, what would you say in the band kind of personal? And what is, does every member have a big influence outside the show? I guess the question is, do you not all listen to the, to just death metal? Uh, like, like, to to yeah, absolutely. We listen to everything. All of us, you know, we have a very wide spectrum of music that we like. And whatever is good, basically, we, we listen to, and that will obviously influence us when we write music as well. It doesn't have to be metal. Is there anything you think you can kind of think of? Like any, any band or performance that influences your writing on uh, a set of purpose? No, not really. I mean, everything and anything. Not, not the one band in the chip. Okay. This is uh, a question from one of the fans. Is, uh, do you guys or any other members of the band have any guilty pleasures in regards to music? Something quite embarrassing. So, uh, I think none of us are ashamed of what we like. We, we have some stuff. I'm a huge Tom Jones fan. For instance, and maybe that's different to people, but I'm, I'm very proud of you know, a great singer. But we, we all listen to different types of music, and uh, there's not, no such thing as embarrassing music. I, I understand the question, you know, but, and I think 10 years ago I probably would have said, Yeah, I'm ashamed of this and that, but you know, I'm not. You know, if you like it, so yeah, exactly. Would you prefer um, early or late on the Early, early. Yeah. Um, uh, now, uh, I've, I've got some friends at university in Swedish who keep telling me how Spotify was invented there, so I wanted to phrase it. Um, now, what is um, what is the band's view on the whole downloading music league? I mean, obviously, you put time and music, time and effort into it, but would you prefer if they did that and then from there came to the shows or they made the most of it? I don't know, it's, it's a difficult question, you know, for smaller bands I'd say that downloading is a good way for people to experience your music, you know, because it's easy and it's accessible anywhere, you know, um, but at the same time, you know, we create music and we need to make a living as well, so I can't glorify it in any way. I personally, I buy my music off of iTunes, because it's legal and it's accessible and, you know, it's, it's um, easy to get to, it's, you know, it's, it's really fast and uh, I think that's the best way to go about it. You know? I, wouldn't, I wouldn't sanction it in any way, so, you know, the download. Sorry? Uh, I mean, paying the loyalty and then get the music basically. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, um, take this life and disconnect it a bit from the guitar here, okay? Now, did you go to the company or did they come to you? Discuss they came to us. Okay. Yeah. Um, did you did they have songs in mind or did you say we'd like to be a studio man? I'm not sure actually because they, they uh, talked to our management and I, th I think they had one, uh, one song in mind or they might have asked you know which out of a few to choose from or something like that but I'm not really sure how. Um, um, are, you, are you happy about the songs being used in the game? Yeah, it's a good way to uh, to expose yourself to a different uh, audience, definitely. Uh, we have to do the signing now. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thanks for doing it again. Yeah, thank you. Sorry about the 